Uh, sorry guys about that, so, but anyway, I'd like to say that I have decided to do a, uh, me voicing it, basically. But, I want to do the texting story, too. Because I wish to see if you guys would enjoy the texting story as well. But further ado, let me let us get into the story. But first thing first, uh, shout out, um, uh, shout out to Flaming Freddy. I've been watching his streams, and I want you guys to subscribe to him because if you do, I will make part two for this. Like, if I see his channel reach like two, like two hundred and thirty, I will post part two for this. But if you guys really like this one. Please tell me in the comment section, like, if you like me doing the voiceover, or no. But anyway, I'm sorry for not telling the story, but uh, as uh, but anyway, let's get into it. So, <clears throat> when Deku graduated junior school and All Might told me he couldn't be here without a quirk, Deku felt nothing but disappointment in All Might. And a year goes by. Well, let's just say. Oh, wait, yeah. Basically, Deku is one year older than Bakugo, so Bakugo was still in junior high. Deku tried to apply to UA, but he couldn't do it because he didn't have a quirk, basically. But So he decided to get a part time job, job as a guy that as an engineer that fixes w broken wires across the city telephone lines basically but it's only for a part time job and his and his boss chiefs him like shit he the boss even so if the if Deku does a great job the boss just gives him shitty pay but Deku just takes it anyway he doesn't fucking care anymore however there was one t after after about Hmm. Since Baku would be kind of like almost done junior high, I want to say that. Hmm. I'm trying to think right now, guys. Give me a minute. Hmm. Ah, I know. Let's just say it was in the next two months, Baku's going to be done school, so. I mean, junior high, so. Deku's happy for him, but. Deku still hates Baku because Baku kept bullying him even at even though he was Deku's older than him. Which Deku is seventeen, but he looks like this. However, Deku his Deku's boss told him to repair a power line that was in an abandoned city. Why? Because the power lines there the power lines there were actually still usable. So, people that had pretty much, not much money, paid for those telephone lines, even though they were sometimes broken or weren't working sometimes, they'd pay for them. And sometimes they work, so... That's when the, that's when Deku's boss said, Listen, kid. Listen, kid. I want you to go to repair, repair those power lines. If you, if you manage to repair all, th if you manage to repair all of them, I'll, I'll give you about, mm, Two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars, like, at uh, like Japanese money, like uh, like a bigger amount. I can't remember, but you guys can decide and comment how much he, how much money he got, for, like, he's getting paid for. After Deku got into his truck, yes, he has the license. He passes driver's tests. But however, he does not talk to Bakugo because he hates him. As Deku gets to the power telephone lines, because the telephone lines. Well, the power lines weren't next to an abandoned city. Which was pretty much... Was... Well, pretty much a huge amount of people were... Uh, I want to say the military used, like, a nuke on that place for testing. And it was abandoned, but after 80 years, the radiation was, like, completely gone, so... Yeah... Wait, I, oh my god, please don't tell me. Okay. I'm making sure my mic is not muted because remember last time, guys, that one video that I was muted. So yeah, but I want to say this to you guys: if you see part two, that means I have not been been much motivated. If you like don't like the story, 
I would happily do part two when I have like the motivation. But anyway, I'll get to the video. As Deku was like fixing the final power line, and Sabo, uh, I'm just gonna say this once that if you like reading this video, Sabo, I mean, I am just gonna say, Sabo, I don't have my thing on, so <laughs> from a recording, so, but I don't mind. I didn't mean to do that, but anyway. <clears throat> As Deku was finishing the last power line, but, yeah, finished the last power line, but he noticed a power line that was not supposed to be there. And he looked at it, and, and he noticed it was going to the city. I mean, going to the abandoned, part of, abandoned, the abandoned city. And Deku's like, is there a homeless person living in there? And his head's like, probably. I do understand. I do understand that a lot of homeless people like live here sometimes, but uh, steering a power line, steering a power line from steering a power line or telephone wire or power line for telephone wire, really. As Deku gets back down from from the thing, he begins like packing up the stuff, and then something, and then his phone began ringing. And he says, "Ring, ring." Deku, like, grabs his phone and just hits the button and just says, Yeah, what is it? As Jarvis is there, but... That version of Jarvis is... Insanely not smart. He can only, like, do, like, some basic, like, yet he says yes and no and sir. But he can't be, he's, like, not the, not the Jarvis that was, like, super, like, smart. Yet. After Jarvis said, sir... Your break is now, your break, you now have a break, sir. As Deku's like, thanks, Jarvis, sighing, just as he puts it back in his pocket, as he's walking, also saying, like, man, why did I not make, why did not, why did, why am I not making him any more smarter? As Deku realizes when he's walking through the city, the abandoned cities, it says, all right, I don't have time, because my boss is cruel to me, and I, can't, I, I don't have any time to do Jarvis. Like, if I have time, if I have, well, if I, sometimes I do have time to do it, but it's very little for him to be improved, because I want, because Deku's saying, I want Jarvis to be the best AI that anyone's ever seen. Which, Deku t graduated at the top of his class at engineering, and science, and math. Why am I saying that? Because... You can't have a fucking origin with a kid that's not doing that. But since Bakugo kept telling Deku that he can never be a hero, even though he's like the god at science, math, and engineering, he can't be a hero without a quirk. So that's when Deku just decided to give up on his passion. And just decide to like be a normal civilian, just getting, just working on, just working, just working day to day, day, day to day lives basically. But five hours later, it took Deku. No, not five hours. Two hours later, Deku found the house, found the line that was. He found the power line and was going to abandon house. As Deku's like. He sighs because he says, "Man, I forgot my ma man. I didn't bring my mask with me because if because some houses have mold on them and you don't want to breathe that in." So Deku begins covering his mask with his shoulder, and and he's uh, he opens the door, but the the handle breaks off. Door basically just, like falls over, and Deku's like, "Great!" Tosses the handle across across somewhere. As he begins going to the begins going into the broken down house and decaying, he begins going up. He finds the wire and cuts it, and he and he like throws it out the window. Basically, like smashes through the window. As he's going back down, he hears this weird buttons. He hears this weird sound like beep, beep. As he begins, like, wondering what the hell that sound is. 
He'd been looking around the house for about a few minutes until he just says, Oh, I give up. As he acts, when he does, he accidentally steps on, like, hmm. I want to say that's something that was covering the table. And Deku actually stomped onto it and slipped in it, like fell down and uncovering the table. And that's because Deku also fell down, or yeah, fell down and saw the button underneath the table. So Deku pressed it, which, you know, because he was curious. And it reveals, reveals a secret garage. But when he walks into it, he knows it's like a like a decayed a lot, and he just says, "Wow, that's this is uh, this is a great room to hide something." But I don't see anything. As some as Deku notices that there is something, as there's something like on the floor, or sticking out, and it was a penny. As he yanks it out. Like, doors began to open underneath the thing which he yanked the penny because it was a secret, like, like, uh, a secret door or thing as, as lifts up, like, the Mark 22 hot rod to be more precise. A Deku looks at it, he just says, Wow, this thing's pretty damp, pretty decayed. And broken, because basically, the person that was living there was a 14-year-old. He was building that armor because he was quirkless, but after uh, one villain incident, completely like erased half his childhood, so he di couldn't remember. He didn't remember what that thing was, so basically, he just became a normal civilian. And though it was not Deku, because. The design was pretty good, but at the same time, was lacking an engineer's touch. He noticed the le right, the left leg was like completely like not finished and completely like not even built, and the right arm was completely like like decayed. And when Deku was trying to like grab it, it fell off and broke into like so many pieces. As Deku's like, damn. But Deku wonders if he could if he could sell this or scrap it for some more cash, because you never know what the, that suit was made out of. So, yeah. So Deku begins like, oh, well, he does find like uh, I can't remember it. What's those gar uh wheel thing, the one that has a wheel and he begins like, putting the armor into it and begins like. Walking it to Deku's car, like Deku's truck, basically. As Deku's doing this, let me see my power level. Okay, not my power level, my my energy. I'm literally doing a video. This not fit. No, I didn't use it yet, Dad. Great. I want to say that... Whatever. But my, right now, my dad's currently unpacking the air conditioner, the new one at least, but after Dick got back to his truck, he begins unloading the Mark 22, and we're wondering, wondering like, why the Mark 22? The ex would have heard, like, why, why can't you like, do the Mark 1, Mark the Mark, like the Mark 1 suit? Well... You see, the kid actually built prototypes of like the Mark One and the models, but they were toy like, like basically you could hold them as a toy figure. Which uh, 
the toy figures were like already like decayed and broken and could not even be recognized beyond compare. As he gets it, as he begins getting it into the truck. Are you doing your video? Yeah. He's busy. Yeah. But anyway, after he begins driving back, however, he didn't manage to, got, he gets the job done for his, like, you know, thing. But when he gets to the scrapyard, it's closed. And he also remembers they only open on Saturdays and two Tuesdays. And he was like, how could I forget this? As he, like, decides to, like, scrap it, like, scrap, put it... I could do that tomorrow so we can scrap it or sell it to someone. He gets back to his boss. On his boss says, You did a pretty good job, kid. Here's your pay. Warning, it's like less than what the boss said, so Deku's not surprised by this. As he begins like saying thanks and just leaves. However, he did he actually did leave like his like mom and just Let's just, yeah, he left his mom. Ow. Dad. As he, le as he left his mom, and he built a house in the woods. Because he's, he didn't want, he didn't want anyone to bother him. He just wanted to be alone. And that's when Deku, like, begins, like, parking his truck up. And he pushes his car in park. He is putting his car, his truck into park mode. And he gets out of his car and he begins going to the back. He opens the trunk and like pulls the sheeting over the over the armor. He begins like pulling it out and putting it into his garage. And he just he just sits it up on some chains for the shoulders. As he was, as he, as he just got done doing that, he was about to leave, but he no, but he heard something. When he turned around, he saw something glowing in the chest area. He was like wondering, "What's this?" He begins walking towards it. As then he like wonders, "What's going in there?" As Deku begins like take like taking the chest piece off and then begins grabbing the arc reactor but since since the time there this arc reactor is a bit more damaged and a bit more like missing some parts because the arc reactor is still experimental but anyway I'm not ending the video here guys but give me a minute him what dad I'm just, we're missing one of these legs. Oh, okay. It's all, no big deal. Yep, anyway, guys. So, after he gets the arc reactor out, the arc reactor completely, like, breaks, like, breaks, like, basically, like, breaks into, like, like, so many pieces. But when Deku, like, pulled it out, it basically, like, broke apart instantly. So Deku wondered, I wonder if I could repair it. <sighs> yeah, guys, sorry about the noise in the background. So, he begins. Sorry, thank you, Dad. You're sorry about the noise. I'm just at the lake right now, guys. But anyway, him. <clears throat> After he grabs all the pieces that broke apart, he puts them on a table and examines them thoroughly. Thoroughly. There you go, I said it. He wonders if he could build a better one, because the one that he was looking at was completely, like, terrible. So he decides to... He decides to call in and just call his bosses. Uh, boss. He just says, yeah, can I have a few days off? As the guy says... You know what, kid? I may be an asshole, but... I'm a jerk. Wait, what? 
Wait, what? Oh, oh no, guys. I did not mean to do that. Guys, so like, give me a bit. What? Go. Like, where? Go to the store. What? So, but, after Deku got done that, after Deku was about to build the arc reactor, we will be remaking the arc reactor. But anyway, guys, I'm sorry. I have to end it here. But if you like my video, please subscribe and hit the like button. And I'm so sorry this video was not any more, like, like longer. Because I have to go to the store, apparently. But hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll talk to you all later. And part two, I'll explain more.